Thank you both very much. Next question goes to Corinne Gretler from Bloomberg. Corinne, please unmute yourself. Hi, thanks for taking my question. Um, I also have a question about um, the origin study, um, one for Mr. Tedros and one for Mr. Spahn. Um, is, is the lack of the raw data the biggest issue that's kind of hampering moving forward with the origin study? What are the other challenges? Um, yeah, and, and, and basically, you know, you, you say you're discussing this with um, member states and um, asking China to be transparent. Um, sometimes, I guess, you know, it, it feels a little bit like the momentum has lost steam and maybe fizzling out. I just kind of want to see, you know, what your, what your take is on that, Mr. Spahn. Okay. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, starting from uh, the last one you said, momentum, uh, if momentum has been lost, uh, I don't think so because um, we need uh, to really continue uh, in order to, we need to continue to uh, start the study in order to know what exactly happened. Um, if we know what happened, then we can prevent uh, future uh, similar uh, crises or, or problems. So it's basics. This is what we do when any outbreak happens. Forget about an, a pandemic of this proportion, unprecedented. Uh, even in any outbreak, you go and understand the origins and we need to know what happened in order to prevent the next one. But there is the other part of it, especially considering the unprecedented nature of this pandemic, the number of people that died and the number of people that suffered. Take the number of deaths alone, more than four million. I think we owe it to them to know what happened. And everybody should cooperate to know what happened and to prevent the same crisis from happening again. And that's why we need cooperation. And then to the challenges, of course, one is, with regard one challenge, one problem is sharing raw data. And I said it at the conclusion of the first phase that there is this problem and it has to be addressed. And the second is, uh, there was a premature push to, um, uh, you know, uh, especially uh, reduce one of the uh, options, like the lab theory. As you know, I was uh, a lab technician myself. I'm an immunologist, and I have worked in the lab. And lab accidents happen. It's common. I have seen it happening. And I had, I myself had errors. So it can, it can happen. And checking what happened, especially in, in our labs, is, is important. And we need information, direct information, on what the situation of these labs was before and at the start of the pandemic. Then if we get full information, we can exclude that. So one of the challenges, again, is uh, you know, a challenge of access and also transparency with regard to the hypotheses that are, that are put. So I hope, because of these two things, there will be better cooperation. The two things I said, one, knowing, understanding what happened can help us to prevent uh, the problem from happening in the future. But second, I think we owe it to the millions who suffered and to the millions who died really to understand uh, what happened. And I hope there will be better cooperation. And we have continued the engagement with China and also with uh, member states. And there will be a better uh, cooperation to get into the bottom of uh, what happened. 
Minister? Well, um, first of all, I absolutely agree with, with what was uh, just uh, said uh, two days ago um, in a discussion in Frankfurt, the city of Frankfurt, a seven-year-old girl actually asked me, where did it come from? Uh, and I could not give her a proper a final answer. Uh, and I think we, we just need to know where it came from. Um, of course, we all have theories, and the one of that there is a, a zoonotic um, based with all makes sense, but nevertheless, uh, we really need to know how it happened, just to learn, out, uh, fr to learn from it and to prevent it, uh, or to be better able to prevent it uh, for, uh, for the future. And uh, so we do appreciate um, the cooperation of the Chinese government so far for the first mission, um, but that's not yet enough, obviously. Uh, like the G7 leaders uh, called on more investigations, uh, we, we fully support this, and so we can, ju can just call on uh, China to intensify the cooperation to examine uh, the origin uh, of this virus uh, to learn for the future, but uh, as uh, Tedros just said, we owe it to the people.